Hey everyone, my name is Niels from Dingy Studio. Welcome back to our series in which we explore Sanity Studio. Sanity Studio, if you don't know what it is, I have a video that I've linked up um, in the corner here where we give an introduction to Sanity Studio. This video is in our how-to series where I explain basic usage and concept of Sanity Studio to content editors to help and guide how to use Sanity Studio. What I want to talk about today is a very common question from our customers. Um, and that goes around the question of how can I see what I'm doing <laughs> in a headless content management like Sanity? And when will I see my changes live on our website? And so let's get into that right away. For this, let's say I'm going to work on a blog post. So let's go into our blog post series right here and let's look at what we have. So as I explained in the introduction, this is a document list of documents of the same type. So all of these are blog posts and some of them have an orange dot. We spoke about the orange dot in the introduction already as well. The orange dot means this document has unpublished changes. So let's see what that means. If I create a new document, there's always um, a little plus sign in a document collection here, as long as you have the permissions to create new documents. But so usually there is a plus sign in every document list that you can use to create a new document. There's also, by the way, in the three dots menu over here, there's like different sorting options um, so you can also switch to a more detailed view. Then the thumbnail gets a little bit bigger. I really like the compact view though. And then you can also say, sort this by published, by last edit, by created date, all of that sort of stuff. And in your Sanity Studio, there might be other options too, because these are customizable. But getting back into creating a new document, here we see this is a brand new document now. And that down here, that will always show you when the last version has been published. In our case of this new document, this has never been published. So this just says not published. Now, if I work on this in any way, like for example, I'll add meta title example here, you can see it says saved. It saved my changes right away to the content lake on Sanity, to the cloud, basically. And it now switched over to saying this has still not been published ever, but it also says edited 19 seconds ago. Now we're ending up in, we're getting into a new state that is also always a, a source of confusion. And that is, I have made changes but the publish button is grayed out. Why can't I publish my document? So there's two ways to know why this is happening. First of all, in the upper right corner, there's like a little bit, as we can see, there's like a little red dot on this information exclamation mark. It says validation. If we click on that, it will give us a list of all of the stuff that is required. And thus, if we don't provide this information, the published button will stay disabled because you can only publish this document if you provide all of this required information. The same thing will be shown to you or like another reason where you can understand why the publish button is disabled is on the publish button. If you just hover it for a little while, then you can see there are validation errors that need to be fixed before this document can be published. There we go. All right. So let's go through the list of stuff that needs to be published. We have to have a published at. So we can click on this and it will jump to the required field right away. The published at, let's just say I want this to be tomorrow or like, let's say this blog post is supposed to go live on Sunday. So this is a special field just for a blog post. And as it was required by, it was marked required by the developers. Let's just go ahead and provide that value. Okay, moving on. We do need a cover image. Okay, cool. Let's select an image from our database. I'm just going to go with one of the very nice pictures that our illustrator and designer Dina creates. So I'm just going to select that. As you can see, 
the list of validation errors is shrinking. Let's go headline. This is an example blog post. And obviously that makes sense. A blog post kind of needs some content. So let's put some content here. Amazing. Our list of required information is shrinking even more. So let's get into the meta description that is also required. Meta description goes here. On a side note, since we're here, that you can see the characters 26 of 160 is in this case an example for a little bit of a custom field. Like this is not something that you will see in every studio, but it's uh, just testimony to that sanity is very extensible and we can create custom components for special needs that are not provided out of the box. So now we need a slug. The slug is the pad part of the URL that you will see in the browser. In this case, we can just hit generate and it will take our meta title and will turn it into a slugified version. That means no special characters, no spaces, only lowercase characters. Awesome. And we said on our, uh, in our blog posts that an author is also required information. So um, let's remove this untitled author and just um, add another one. In this case, let's just say this is me. Now we don't have validation errors and we can close this panel and we can see that the publish button is now active. So this is awesome. And now we could publish this document. Now to the question of how can I see what I'm doing versus when will this content be available on the website? Now, to answer this question, it's important to understand that Sanity is a headless content management system. And that means that the website that shows the content from your content management system can decide for itself how it deals with this content. There's also different scenarios of when the publicly available website will get the content that is available on Sanity the next time. Like when will it be updated? Is this as soon as you hit the publish button or is this maybe only once a day or is this after 15 minutes? Like the fact that you published content on Sanity does not mean, and that is the most important thing to take away here, does not necessarily mean that your content will be visible on the website or on the websites or on the app or whatever front end is using the content from Sanity. It doesn't mean that your content will be visible in those places right away. Um, so that's an important thing to note. In our example, on our website right here, we configured the preview function and that is also done in different ways sometimes. In our case, you can also see I'm on, on the URL up here, preview.dingystudio. So we have a second version of our live website because this is www.dingy.studio. Both take the same content from Sanity. Both look exactly the same. You can visit the preview version in another tab. It's just significantly slower, as you can see, like it takes a longer while because it gets all of the content without any caching, without any speed improvements. It gets it fresh out of sanity. Whereas our production version of the website has the cache and all of that stuff enabled, um, which makes it just super fast to navigate. Obviously, we want that. But that also means that content that we publish on sanity is not necessarily visible instantly after we hit the publish button. So what we did in our case, and that is something that we provide to many of our customers, is that right away in the Dingy, in the Sanity Studio, you get like a little preview button on most of the document types that you can switch over to, and you can see your document, how it will look on the blog just right here. You can see it here, 
which is cool. It also has this very nice option of previewing in a mobile viewport. So if you hit that button, then it just goes into the smaller thing and you can see how it would look on a generic phone. You can reload this thing here, reload. You can also copy the URL to this preview to share it with one of your colleagues. Or you can even open this outside of Dingy Studio in a new tab right away to just see it outside of the context of the Sanity Studio. So all of this is visible to me even though I never hit this publish button. Again, this is something very crucial to understand. Whatever you enter here will be available right away, but it's just not published yet. So if we, for example, say we add, we work on our content just a little bit, maybe let's add a headline in here. I'm gonna talk about the uh, rich text editor in another video as well. Stay tuned for that one. But let's say we're working on our document over here. Again, I didn't hit, um, hit publish or save or anything. I just stopped typing. Now I can switch over to preview again and it will show me my updated content right here. So. Let's recap for a second. Whatever you do on Sanity, it's always saved. You can do it with your colleagues all at the same time. It works as any live collaboration platform as Miro or uh, Google Docs, for example. If you just stop typing, everything will be saved. And publishing does like does mean different things in different use cases. In our case, publish will mean that I hit publish and it will take a couple of minutes before the blog post that I've written will actually be available on our live website. That is because our website is set up in a way that new content from Sanity will be pulled in every couple of minutes. And so to stay fast, the website creates like a, a version that is saved online and is, is served to all of the, our website visitors for a couple of minutes. And then after a few minutes, it will go check if there's something new and will update the website accordingly. So just keep in mind, if you hit publish and the changes you're looking for are not reflected on the website right away, then that might just be okay. And probably there's just a little bit of a time difference that you need to wait for before the uh, content will come online. All right, that's enough for this session about how does content publishing work. There's a lot more to content publishing. You can create entire publishing workflows where chief editors or editors and staff have this uh, have the possibility to sign off on content. Like you can create this handoff workflow or this publication workflow with different steps in it. You can do all of that. But the regular, most basic version is that you have a publish button in the lower right corner and you can just hit that to be sure that your content, that your job is done, your content is published and that it will show up on your website, let's say eventually. Thanks for the attention. This is it for this uh, video. See you on the next one. Um, again, this is a playlist of many different videos on how to use Sanity Studio. Make sure to check out the other ones if you have more questions. All right, see you then, bye.